All right, let's not be too cool for school about this whole thing. You saw the headline, you click the image, we all know why we're here. Everybody poops. They literally wrote a book about it. And poop happens. There are millions of bumper stickers around the world that will attest to that fact. Just uh, sometimes it happens in the course of business of a professional wrestler. We aren't casting stones, we're just stating facts. No judgment. I'm Senior Siete for Seven Wrestling, and here are seven wrestlers who pooped their pants. Now, if you enjoy this video, and there's nothing wrong with that, please like this video, hit the subscribe button, and press the notification bell. Number one, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Now this is what we're talking about. If the most successful athlete of one of wrestling's most successful eras can admit to filling their trunks, then anybody can. The year was 1996. It was during an international tour of South Africa and a match against Yokozuna where the Texas Rattlesnake unleashed a, a brown butt snake. Seriously, who wrote that? Ugh, don't be proud of that. During a 2019 episode of Hot Ones, Steve Austin would say, when you're doing international travel and there's dietary changes, things happen. And when he picked me up and slammed me, things happened. Something went south and luckily I was wearing black trunks. I was laying there on the mat and I had just crapped my trunks. Austin would immediately call for the match to finish and then retreat to the back to take a shower. Probably a couple showers. Number two, Vince McMahon. See, the biggest name in the history of the industry has done it. The biggest promoter of all time. There's no shame in this list at all. I'm feeling a whole lot better about it. Apparently, Mr. McMahon's diarrhea dilemma took place at the Meadowlands during an episode of Monday Night Raw. Earlier in the evening, announcer Jim Ross had made Gerald Briscoe dry heave during the drive over with some well-timed Oklahoma barbecue fueled flatulence. McMahon was attempting to replicate this impressive feat when the disaster occurred. Jim Ross would tell Opie and Anthony, he's waiting on his music cue to make his walk to the ring, and he turns his back to Briscoe to deposit something in the air, and it got liquid. He sharded. He's wearing khakis and he's got a brown stain, the old racing skid mark, and he's got to go out and do his bit. And anyone who is familiar with how the genetic jackhammer operates knows how this ended. Vince marching out to the ring to do that promo with stained pants. I mean, seriously, the guy wouldn't let two torn quads stop him. The camera folks were told to just shoot him from the waist up. Number three, CM Punk. Wow, Punk 2? Everybody really does poop. All right, maybe we can use this for kids. Let children who have had accidents in school know that they're not alone. The heroes of the squared circle have had their incidents as well. This one took place during the December 6th, 2013 episode of SmackDown, during a match with John Moxley that was broadcast live on national television. Apparently, Punk had been having health issues, and the WWE's medical staff kept giving him antibiotics. CM Punk would describe the incident to his best friend forever, Colt Cabana, during his Art of Wrestling podcast. Doc's like, oh, you're sick, here's a Z-Pack. They Z-Packed me to death, so much so that in December, I my pants on a smackdown because that's what antibiotics do to you right like it's funny i shit myself i was laughing vince was laughing ambrose was laughing ironically this is only the second most disastrous thing to happen on a night where punk has wrestled moxley number four andre the giant the eighth wonder of the world was rumored to have once drank 119 beers in a six hour period that is insane how many do you think an average human could consume? 10? Maybe? I don't know. I'm only bringing this up to put it in perspective how you had to take what the average person was capable of and then multiply it by 10 to get the kind of numbers that the giant was capable of. Now, take that logic from beers and apply it to poop. Probably a lot of poop. That's what we're saying. Are we being too vague here? All right. Imagine Laura Dern elbow deep in poop. Anyhow, the year was 1992, the location was Mexico, and the culprit was a mix of a stomach virus and Andre the Giant's pre-match drinking. And the unfortunate victim? Bad News Brown. During an interview with Title Match Wrestling, the master of the ghetto blaster in Zagiri would describe the incident like this. He shoots me across the ring and he says, Big ass, boss. And he gives it to me. And all of a sudden, everything is wet. 
I'm lying in the corner and it's all over me. I fell out of the ring and I'm about to puke. Yeah, man, we, we, we can all relate to that uh, emotion there, bad news. Oh, and if you think I'm going to make a joke about Bad News Brown getting covered in Bad News Brown, well, we're far too classy for that. Number 5. Jake the Snake Roberts I know what you're thinking. Senior Siete, when will you just get to Sid pooping his pants during the main event of WrestleMania 13 already? I'd love to, but in all of my research, I haven't been able to find any interviews that verify that the Psycho One dropped a tombstone of his own. So, we'll have to sell it for someone who has no problem admitting to some of the worst behavior imaginable. I'm of course talking about the Keith Richards of professional wrestling, Jake Roberts. A fan reached out to the snake to ask if he'd had any in-ring accidents on Cameo. And he got this reply. Really? Sh my pants? I'm a professional man. Of course I've sh my pants. Several times. Proud of it too. Wow. With the laundry list of deprived things Jake Roberts has done during his life, that's almost endearing. Almost. Almost endearing. Let's not go crazy with this thing. Number 6. Darren Young Wow, this list is quite a who's who of wrestling legends, but, but even lesser role players can have their run-in with the Brown Menace. In this instance, Darren Young, former tag team champion and Nexus member, did the do in the middle of a tag match against the Wyatt family. The former primetime player would describe the incident to TMZ like this. Me and Titus, my tag team partner at the time, were wearing these baby blue tights. In the match, one of the white boys slammed me so hard that I sharded my pants. I was so embarrassed I never wore those tights again. Wow, and until now, he was most memorable for looking like John Cena. I guess he's the best we'll do, because the master of hustle, loyalty, and respect would never... Number 7. John Cena Oh, I, uh, I guess he would. Wow, now that we've reached the end, I'm super impressed at, at everybody in professional wrestling who's done this. All we're missing is, like, The Rock and Hulk Hogan, although Hulk Hogan's story would probably be something like, I was on my way to audition to play bass for Metallica the day after I slammed the 4,000-pound Andre the Giant, and all of a sudden I was sprinting for the bathroom, brother. But I digress. The man with a PhD in thugonomics would describe his unfortunate incident in an issue of WWE Magazine. It was in Winnipeg, and I was wrestling Scott Steiner, with Bull Buchanan as my lackey. I got food poisoning and thought I wouldn't be able to wrestle, but went out there anyway. I took a DDT, rolled out, and the timekeeper was there. I looked him in the eye and said, where do I puke? And he said, under the ring. So I went under the ring and puked, and everybody knew it. But as I was puking, I crapped my pants. Luckily, it was at the end of the match. Fortunately, this all took place under the ring where you couldn't see him. Wow, 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 wow. Well, we made it through this mess. Good job, team. Did I miss any other bowel movement memories? If so, please leave them in the comment section below. Or don't. Maybe we won't hear them. Nah, we want to hear them. All right, please like this video, hit the subscribe button, and press the notification bell. Until next time, I'm Senor Siete for 7 Wrestling. Bye-bye.